the thing with the Meek Mill versus the academics thing, and this is something that I think rappers, yeah. streamers, or whoever, anybody in the space, you need to realize like the rappers are never gonna win against the top streamers and the top content Damn. creators. They're just not. When it comes to like the back and forth, why do you think that bottles, is, bro? Because the content creators literally make a living off All of the this. internet. Right. Yeah. Like, they know yeah. how to do it. Like, I have yeah. access they know the, they know the whole to support. my tool every single day in my basement, in my living room, wherever I, I stream at. I can get on and I can defend myself. I can attack you. I can, you know, create narratives. I can inform in real time where rappers and artists, they either have to resort to Twitter mm -hmm. like Meek does and it doesn't work out for them or they have to do it in music on the album, which isn't instant and it's only two minutes and then- You got to pray everyone you, hears it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. the rappers need to realize like even the landscape and, and Meek Mill in particular, like you need to realize going to war with academics, it doesn't serve you any purpose because also in the street, Streets, right and Alex you know anybody who's street adjacent anybody who who's familiar with the term like Reggie you probably heard this too you don't get points for certain things right a lot of street niggas go off of the point system right yeah. beating up academics as a street guy you don't really get points for that <laughs> mm -hmm. that's true <laughs> beating up nah, that's true beating up any content creator streamer kid whoever like you can make all the threats you can make all mm -hmm. the alligator whatever you want all everything the violence everything nah you pussy fuck you nigga i'ma see you mm -hmm. come outside you a keyboard warrior all <laughs> yeah. that shit you can say all of it right and yeah. if you actually do see him you do confront him you don't get points for beating him up. And it's you so don't get points <laughs> for smacking him. You don't get points for peeing on his doorstep. Like, you don't get points for that. So you mm -hmm. really can't win, especially if you're a street rapper going against a content creator in that form. Damn. And then when you do try to, like, go against a, a, a street content creator or whatever, you turn into Tag Stone. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then you crash out. It's so, hard, it's so hard for street niggas to lead the principles at home. Because they then attach the same principles to people that don't come from that life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So now when the internet or people that usually would support them and not backing what they saying, they're like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm from the streets, nigga. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the streets, we don't condone this. And it's like, homie, these niggas don't care You're about arguing the streets. arguing with academics. Like, yeah, these niggas don't care about that shit, bro. So if a street dude goes up against academics, you lose in real life because no one cares. And then you also lose on the internet because of uh, the armies that they have of these like trolls and people that yeah. will defend them. You, yeah. There's not a win-win. So I think the only thing you can do if you're meek is like put out good music, mm -hmm. put out a good product and, and keep it pushing and well, continue to like win in that aspect. But you don't do yourself any favors when you try to defend yourself on Twitter. You're not a professional tweeter. You're a professional rapper. You're a professional artist. Go create art. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Like that's yep. how Agreed. you combat somebody like an academics if y'all are going at it. Academics has all day. I have seen academic stream <laughs> for do. eight hours straight. Yeah, your album is <laughs> your EP <laughs> is only twenty two minutes. For real, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the playing got, field is not it, is stop. not equal. So if I'm an academics, like and another thing, people got to give academics like his credit. Like he's informed. Absolutely. He's, yeah. he's informed on the for, things that he talks about. Is he, he though? He, no, for the no, most part, is. he does. He is. You got to kind of watch his stuff though, Reggie. Real on talk. some he things is. he is, on, on some, some things he isn't. Well, I mean, but that's I'll, everybody. I'll speak to this. But when he does have a target, yeah. I think he does his due diligence and getting the right information. I have a question. Is there ever going to be a day where, and I know academics does not give a fuck about me. He doesn't you know, even know my name. Is there ever going to be a day where I like academics, do you think? Because you guys watch I his content. I don't, but see, that's the thing, though. I don't know academics to like him, Reggie. So I want to be really or clear. Or like his content or whatever. Like, Yeah, I want to yeah. be I want to be so clear in what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen him do deep dives live in front of me. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. pulling up web browsers, going down rabbit holes yeah. to try to look for the information. Granted, I don't know Ak. I, he's not one of my homies. He's just in the space. So mm -hmm. just from what I'm viewing, I've never was a, like a, a hardcore fan or anything like that. But from what I've seen, I can't lie to you. Like, like he does a good job. It, it is entertaining he, for the most part, yeah. and, and and it's pretty entertaining. He, he crash out. He'll drink some honey. Yeah. But I've noticed that he'll do a deep dive in front of you. That'd be the thing. You know, some niggas just talk from their brain. Yeah. We do that here. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> on his live streams. Hmm. people are seeing your web browsers yeah. they and they're pull seeing you pull certain things up and read certain things like with the lawsuit we were talking about with Lil Rod he was reading from the lawsuit yep. mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard for a person like me to be so angry at him when really he's just pulling from what's public and the other mm -hmm. thing too with um, Ak he prides himself on not being one-sided so he 
He, he I highly disagree yeah, yeah. with that. No, I barely no, watch him, him, and the tries. few clips that I've seen of him, he's he, very biased. He, he tries, tries. Like, but at the same yeah. time, he's not. He doesn't owe his. From what he says, he doesn't owe his allegiance to, to anyone. anyone. Sure, sure. So, like, even me, sure. how I consume content nowadays, I try to like consume both sides of whatever story is happening mm-hmm. because I don't want to indoctrinate myself into just believing one side. Yeah, yeah. Always gotta at least look at the other side and be like, eh, I disagree with that, and then, I, but at least like look at it. Type shit. And hmm. two for him, like Tiffany was saying. You know, give him his flowers. At, at certain points of time, um, he does like once he's off of like the BS, he'll like tone it down and actually give you the real. <laughs> Get serious for a second. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think you know we because so, some of the things that Reggie probably has seen act for is probably for the crash outs, right? Some of the explosive clips and all that. Mm-hmm. But I think if you kind of pull back the layers and you see it for what it is, and you just take a, t- a content creator versus a rapper on Twitter, like it's just not ever going to be a fair fight because this is how I make my living. Like I make my living off of making people like you look stupid. Like so this is gonna, his arena. Yeah, yeah. this when is what going, I do. When you gonna produce the Meek Mill podcast? I probably won't. <laughs> Meek Mill should not have a fucking podcast. <laughs> I, probably, <laughs> I probably won't. I love him, but Y'all basically no. telling me he can't respond, he can't compete, so he gotta drop a podcast, right? I just right? think you just be strategic about how you oh, go God. about doing it. Or you just don't say anything at all. Or again, you put it in music. Like you can't win the back and forth. First off, you can't beat the internet. Like you also have to be self aware. Yeah, he there's likes videos that. of he you like, that. and I watched it today when he was jumping like a bunny. He lost the bet. <laughs> yeah. Now I get it. Is well, I, I don't know. He's doing that because he's trying to fit in in those social circles for whatever reason. And maybe he he is friends with those people. He lost the bet around crazy. some billionaires? Around some billionaires. Okay. It was Michael Rubin, I believe. Got you. And Michael Rubin had the camera in his face. He was like, count to 250 and, and bounce. <laughs> nah, that's hazy. Bounce. <laughs> and bounce. Like, you just told this grown man to bounce. Put your hands up nigga turn and into, bounce. Nigga turn into Manny Fresh. <laughs> right? Like, this nigga, so oh, you do have shit. to have some kind of self-awareness of mm. what is out there yeah. on the internet of you. What you've done on the internet and I think and I, I don't know Meek Mill but from mm. what he does from what we see is like dude what are you thinking like who who is around you you mm. know like because you're mm. not ever going to win these wars you're not ever going to win these battles and threatening a, a academics in particular anybody who sits behind their keyboard for mm-hmm. a living like it doesn't make you look tough you don't get points for that yeah. like yeah. I think street like I know like a lot of people in my life it's, it's you you get you don't get points for certain things I don't get points for beating up somebody that's smaller than me you don't. I don't get points for beating up somebody who I don't think can defend themselves you know what I'm saying like mm. you don't get points for saying yo I'm going to smack the shit out of a nigga who sits behind his computer <laughs> for a living you don't you know yeah. like you, you just don't so even if you were to do it but again it might be a demographic that's happy like yeah that nigga got that fuck yeah. that nigga ah, he did that but like in the grand scheme of what it is that you stand for like right. most niggas will be like fam like see, what are you even on that for i'm not defending him right i'm just I, i'm just trying to understand it a little mm-hmm. bit see to her niggas in their brain there's no universe there's no world there's no dimension mm-hmm. where a nigga in his basement could be talking shit about a nigga that's quote unquote putting Outside, in work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's it's just so hard for him to process. I see it. He be tweeting just <laughs> trying to process this shit like, At what the, same the fuck? Time, though, like, this gotta yeah. be someone in Meek's camp to be like, yo, all right, this is how you should move. Like, if I was Meek, how? I would've just said, I would've just said one thing, all right, I'm not this and it just kept it moving. But me, but Pete, what if you moving with all her niggas that think like you? You gotta, you gotta do something different. You do. I'm just saying like, but we this know probably, he's not moving with all her niggas because every time we see him, he was with Robert Kraft. And nah, it's not every time Ruben we see him. That's when, they, that's when they tell him to come out and, and, on his day to day basis. He don't be with them niggas. And Roll the other, baby, the other James thing, Harden. the other thing too. Right? <laughs> that's his friend. Yeah, we don't always choose the best medium to express ourselves. Writing just isn't his thing, and this is not me. <laughs> writing his, isn't, his but thing. he write raps. <laughs> don't no, say I'm, that. I'm saying in a formal sense, tweeting is not his thing. I agree. I've seen me. <laughs> uh, do news conferences or press conferences, and he's seen. He sounds pretty intelligent. Pretty literate. Like, yeah. like when he wants to, he got to write. You know, the good head on his shoulders. But whenever he just wanna, you know, it just seems like whenever he just on some like stuff where it's like, yeah, all right, I'm gonna just say whatever I say. Yeah, like tweeting is not his strong suit. You're right no, about that. Not at all. Yeah, he'd be like, sounding crazy. Like some people talk better than they write. Some people write better than they talk, or you know, vice versa. Mm-hmm. I think, um, but even okay. Let, if we're taking Meek out of it though, like Meek Mill himself, because you know he's his own person. But let's say it was another rapper going up against, against academics. I do agree with Savon saying like, "Yo, this is Axe Arena. Like, you can't out troll him." But it's also like Axe isn't like invincible though. So it's no. like, can somebody, can a rapper potentially win an internet beef against Axe? Like, I, who I, would that be? Like, I think Freddie Gibbs beat him. Oh, Saucy Santana. 
Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Saucy was like, I'm yeah. gonna fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. I think he might have yeah. won he might have won that. I one. think he got okay, that question, one. question yeah. answer. And I, and I, I think, think with the Freddie Gibbs one. shit, he won too. So um that's why he, <laughs> he fuck and, it. and the other thing to note too, they've had long standing beef. Who? Hey. Who? A- Ak and um uh Meek. Uh, Meek. How long? Have they? But they, they, they but you, you would, you don't know. Say, I don't. Say one? They I recently don't. hashed it out. You You're right know. though. But they recently hashed it out, which it, is, which is so interesting yeah. because now no, no, they're no. back into the yeah. even, even on um, uh, what's uh the show that he was on with Joe? What was it called again? Everyday struggle. Everyday struggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they've had beef ever since back then. Nah, no. What I'm saying is they had hashed it out recently. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I've seen streams of acts saying, yeah. Nah, Meek is my guy. He's my guy now. And now they're fighting. And now they're right back to it. Yeah. But Damn. it's in general, like we see, um, who is it? Adam Ross, Aiden Ross. I don't know. Aiden I'm Ross, fucking his Aiden, name up. Aiden, Aiden Ross. Showing your age. Uh, facts. I don't even. Showing mind your it. age. I don't mind it. Aiden. I know. Nah, I know. I'm <laughs> that. I wear that. I wear that. <laughs> but um, him, Kai Sana, we see these guys go <laughs> against or artists against the streamers in general. So even just taking away from academics, it's like the content creators they are always going to win in this field in this arena. So. I don't even think there's a reason for you to either entertain it, go against it. Mm-hmm. And then you also got to know your opponent, right? Like gotcha. you got to believe and know that academics is relentless. He's not going to stop. And mm-hmm. there is no way that you can prove your sexuality, bro. Like, and whoever you are, whatever it is that you do, like just stand in your truth, whatever your truth is, right? Like yeah. if, if you, if you're not gay, all right, cool. You don't even got to address it. Exactly. You don't even got to say, exactly. I'm not gay. I love pussy. Like, exactly. You, like, self awareness, bro. <laughs> Why are you going to overcompensate? Overcompensation makes you look worse than look what hurt. it is. Yeah, it, makes it makes you look, look guilty hurt. of whatever it is you're being accused of. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I, just, I, I think whoever Meek's team is, his friends, him. whoever it is, he, he is team. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he needs a new him, then. <laughs>